Hello, people of the tubes. Hello, and welcome to Game Squid. Mm. Yes, today you'll make the the things explode. The definitely. Whoops. The objects. Yep. The capsules. That's it. Can can we make the squares explode too? It's probably they'll probably explode after like three hits or something. Maybe make a health bar. Indeed. Oh, I still well, haven't made well, that. Well, they well for the ship. Yeah. We'll worry about that later. Okay. Well, into the code. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now is where everything becomes slightly more complicated. Will Make the capsule smaller, by the way. Oh, okay. Will it what? Um, will it be going into the if area? Yeah, everything will be with ifs. Wait, why do I have so many cubes? Oh, here, just a second. I'm going to create a folder. Create empty. <laughs> don't bother. Well, here, just a second. I don't, don't even know if that works. That's a game object. Well, yeah, but you can, like, parent stuff to it. Well, I guess it works. Game. Sorted. No, Whoops. you fool. Whoops. Here, we should uh, probably close that before we do that. That's what you get. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so do I just want to change the size in here? Yes. Okay. So I'm the size two. That's good. Yeah, let's test that out. So let's look at these tiny capsules. That's so pathetic. It's kind what? of sad, actually. Well, that's how big they would be, wouldn't it? Mm, true. What's pathetic? You like the the giant ones better? Oh no, they're just they're like BB gun pellets. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how do we do this? Yes, well. <laughs> yes, how how indeed? Well, I suppose you're going. To, we're going to attach a script to the capsules. Oh, so I shall make a new script. Yes. Yay! Script number two. I don't like this. I hate putting scripts on things. There. I, I prefer to have one script that does everything. Well, I open it too. Also, I think you just used the first script, so that'll be terrible. Yep. Now, now one of the... Now, wait, every capsule thinks it's a spaceship now? Yep. Actually, <laughs> yeah, try, I kind of want to see that how that would work. I <laughs> try <see>. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They'll, they'll actually have no speed because they'll be parented to, and uh, they'll immediately reset the speed to. I feel like this will create errors. It won't. Oh. It'll Not just, it'll just take up exceeding, exceeding oh. amounts of, yeah, lag. That's it, because it keeps creating millions. That's, nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Let's add a new script. This will be called. Actually, bullets. Yeah, bullet yeah, explodey. Wait, right, actually, no, this will just be one bullets. No, you get out of here. We don't it, want your kind. It won't quit. There. I think we're done. Ultimate. There. Can I put my scripts into a different folder? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if it works to change them now, though. Well, I guess I'll just have to redrag them onto the things. Oh wait, no. Reselect them. Put that in my scripts folder. Uh, oh, they can't be moved. Oh, well, that's because this is opened. Yeah. Now they can be moved. Yeah. There. Bullets. Bullets. Yeah. Uh, and and then... crashed. I mean, no. Wait, no. did it? Did it move it? Yep. Test. Play game. <laughs> I'm getting an absurd amount of lag right now for some reason. Stupid Skype sharing. No, it's it's probably still because of that. Well, this seems fairly smooth. It's probably because of that laggy script we made, where every bullet spawned a million more bullets. And it's still lagging because of it. Well, I don't know. Is it laggy now? Mm, no, not as much. Yeah, I'm, gonna I'm surprised it didn't crash. Yeah, me too. It's because I ended the game so fast. Well, you could have just not pressed space, and it would have been fine too. There we go. Now a bunch of folders, just like my desktop. 
Yes, now go into the bullet. Okay. Mm. There is a function that you can call, <coughs> which is called on collision stay, which which you should remember because it is in fact the worst piece of shit ever, and you should never use it. Wait, should I make a new like? Just... No, don't don't. Don't worry about that now. Um, go into the capsule. Okay. Now duplicate the collider. So just wait. What do you mean duplicate? Can you duplicate it? That would be very convenient. Just like add another collider. No, can is there no duplicate function on it? No. Copy paste. No. Wait. Copy component. Um. Add component, paste component. Control V, maybe? No, it doesn't do anything. There must be something. Weird. Well, click on the thing again. The gear wheel. Yeah, reset, remove the There! What? Why don't you just... Oh, right. Yeah, paste component is new. Oh, hey. Simple, anyways. Uh, set set that one as a collider, uh, as a trigger. Um, is trigger yes. So that essentially makes it so we'll use this this collider to know when the bullet hits something, and then, and that way we don't have that shitty function that they wrote that makes everything laggy, which is on collision stay. <laughs> and and then therefore you can go into the script now and write. On trigger stay. On trigger. No. Oh. It's it's the same the same thing as as update. Oh, you mean like make a new function? Yes. Oh, okay. I, I suppose I should look up how how that is done what, again. What should I call this? On trigger stay. On. With all with all cap. Well, with with all these. Every single word capitalized. There. Let's see if this creates any. Oh wait, no, actually, right. Destroy this. Okay, oh, get rid of all this. No. Oh, right. Destroy. Uh, actually, game object. Destroy game object. Destroy game object. No, you destroy and then. Destroy is a function. Destroy object. No, destroy. Oh, like call <laughs> this destroy? No, no, just just call the function destroy. Destroy. Yes. Now feed it the the thing that is called game object, which okay. will refer to the the game object that the script is attached to. No. Functions, man. Remember functions. Oh, there we go. No. No. <laughs> It's in parentheses, like in like every function ever. Oh, that's right. Destroy game object. Yes. I think it's a a non-capital game object in this case because we're referring to the instance of the game object, not the type. And semicolon, and then we can go. There. Go. Oh, just literally press go. Why is it called untrigger stay? Because it well, that that's what get gets called when the trigger collides with something, and we've done wrong apparently. Yeah, I have no idea what that was supposed to do exactly. It was supposed to destroy the bullets. Oh, like when they hit something. Yes. Hmm. That didn't work. Oh, indeed. Here, let's try. Oh, jeez, untrigger stay really. What? It's on. It's on trigger stay. Oh. On trigger stay. I'm surprised it's not. Not colored, but whatever. I suppose start isn't colored either, even though it should be. Oh, but now they just now they don't do anything. Well, that's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's great. Oh, because now they just get destroyed instantly. Yes, because they've collided with the ship. <laughs> now fix it. Okay, make them come out like not from inside the ship. 
No, you you remember how we how we did that? Come on, no, no on file. Second, I'm gonna open this up. Okay. Let's see here. Physics dot ignore collision. That's right. Yay. And then I'll put that in here. No. No. <laughs> Darn it. Ex actually now. <laughs> now we're going to Now you copy that that first part where it says target get component. The whole thing. With collider. That's oh. right. No. no, just this. Yes, but the parentheses belong to it as well, of course. Okay. Control C. Cut it out and then. No! Oh, literally, like. We're still here. Yes, and then in that case, you, and, and here you're gonna. You're gonna write colliders. Now, what we do here is we. We get the component colliders, but we save it. Oh, colliders, and then in in alternate parentheses a number. Wait, what? In alternate parentheses? The the box shaped ones. What These are ones? they called? Yes. Oh, those are square brackets. Right, those, but still the colliders, obviously. What I just said. No, after after them, there's the square brackets. Just the colliders, it's definitely needed. Like that? Yes. Today you're going to learn about lists, apparently. Yeah. Um, well, not really, I guess. We'll just use it real quick. Yes, again, close it. Wow. And one. One? Inside it. Oh. One. Well, zero, actually, and then one as well. Zero, one. No, C duplicate the whole line and put one and zero for each one. Oh, so like zero and then make another line? That's right. Zero. The whole line. Oh, for like the whole line? Yes, there's two colliders. You're going to ignore two colliders. One. That's it. Now you're going to have to declare this. Okay. Yes. Declare the colliders um, beforehand before you use them. Oh, okay. Let's see. Declare, declare. Oh, gosh. <laughs> shoot, vector three direction. Wait, is this even supposed to be in the. Yeah, this is supposed to be in void shoot. Oh, shit. I hope you didn't paste anything because you still need that to get component collider. <clears throat> this? Or, or the or target? Paste or the target Bef docket. Before the ignorings, you're gonna b paste the new line. Oh, like the... that? Thing? No, oh shit, you copied that, oh fuck. Here, um, I can just... Well, well, you're just gonna write colliders, br square brackets... Okay. Actually, right. collider... oh fuck, let me look up how that works again. So do you actually, like, Go onto the internet and just look it up. No, I go into my own script and look it up. Oh. Okay, so collider square brackets colliders. <laughs> Jesus, man, why, why on earth? What, what, what made you think that we were gonna need that ignore collision a third time? I told you there'd be there'd be two times if ignoring collisions. <laughs> what the, what are we putting here? <laughs> Just remove it and make an empty line, damn it. Okay, there. <laughs> Gosh. My feelings. <laughs> I'm sorry, master. <laughs> sorry. Well, as I said, colliders, square brackets. Actually, collider. Is that why they're all in red? No. That's just because Monodef is a piece of shit. Mm. There's there's nothing wrong with that one. It's, it's the same thing as the first one. Interesting. Anyways, this is a type now. Collider. Collider is a type. A type of component, you see. Game object is a type of object. Okay. 
You see, this is a declaration. Oh, the like square... rigid body. It's like rigid body. Yes. The, the square... The square brackets means mean that it's a list. So this means that you've... You're now declaring a list of colliders, which is called colliders. So do it. Okay. So in here do I put it? No. No, the... The square brackets is a is part of the the type, I guess. Uh, well, with a space, but yes. Okay. Okay. So now you've now you're declaring that, and now you're going to equal, uh, equal, and then that whole get component stuff again. Get components. No, not that whole. Well, yeah. Okay. Actually, part of that. Target dot get component. Ah, oh, that's what goes there. Target. Where where the gap will be? Target dot get component. Yes. And then collider. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Again with the ignore collisions. Why? What? Why with the ignore collision? Why have you pasted that? Oh, well... Because <laughs> that's my favorite line. It seems. Okay. Target that get component collider. That's it. But it's get component because it's plural. Because it's a list. Like a component? No. S. There's an S afterwards. Oh, I didn't hear you say it. I thought you just said get component. Right, and then the bracket, uh, the, the parenthesis, and then it should work, hopefully. Uh -huh. Wait, so what now? Parenthesis and semicolon. This is semicolon. And then let's see what the arrow says. Okay. Doesn't look like a semicolon. Oh, it is. Uh, no, that's that's two dots there. It's not a semicolon. Oh, that's a colon. Exactly. Whoops. Really a colon? Jeez. Do you even English, bro? Oh. It's just weird. A semicolon actually is larger than a colon. <laughs> so is code like a universal language? Oh, hey, it worked. Yes, they're disappearing. We did it. Is coding not... like a universal language, or do you like write code differently when you write in German? Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> the most dynamic space game ever. Well, I, I thought I there's usually... the upside down cloud. <laughs> I usually like to have English names in coding because I despise the German language. Oh. Yes. So, but like when you usually talk, do you usually talk in English or in German? Like when you talk to your mom or something? Well, obviously I talk to, in German to her, but I, I do more talking on the internet than in real life, so I guess English. Nerd. Oh yeah, you go to church. Hey. Don't judge my lifestyle, bro. You can't stop me, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. And you want me to call you my disciple? Uh, no, you're the disciple. Oh. Well Don't then, shall think... we continue? This is getting awkward. <laughs> yes. Now we can do the on collision thing. Yay. Back in the bullets. Yes, we can. Like a new. No, actually, on on in the on trigger, we're gonna insert a, an argument now. Okay, arguments. No, that's not an argument. That's that's just code. Oh yeah, that's right. Yay, arguments. An, arg an argument is a. Arguments. Yes. Well, okay. Let me let me look up again. How <laughs> the does attack this on Titan. So apparently, collider and then collider. Yes. Collider. Collider. Wow. Yes, no. 
what a compelling argument case we have here. Space and instead of a comma. Oh, collider, collider. Yes, that's okay. right. Code. Amazing, isn't it? It's a collider with the name of collider. Mm. But you should probably make it a non-caps collider, but whatever, I guess it's up to you. Collide-tastic. Anyways. Uh, now you're going to destroy the collider. No, wait, you're going to destroy the game object that's attached to the collider. So do that then. Great. Game object. Collider? No. No? Game object dot collider? Reversed. Oh, uh, collider dot game object. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Game object to you. And now it shall be destroyed. Oh, yeah. If you would finish the code, that is. Oh, yeah. The semicolons. And also parentheses. Nah. <laughs> I'm, li I'm living the thug life when it comes to coding. But then well, again, Unity, Unity stops proof. me from booting up any game that has an error in compiling. <laughs> Trump! <laughs> Look at that! It's basically a AAA title! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and the fact that your ship rotates is only slightly glitchy. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, uh, how long have we been recording? Is So is that just the end? No, I, I don't know. Maybe we should stop the, the ship from, record, uh, from rotating. Yeah, I'd like that too. Or maybe we should give them a health bar, a health, the cubes that is. Oh, I can make a health. Uh, we, we do that by attaching the script to the cubes that has a health. So, like, would I just put it onto the one big cubes thing right here? Can I just do that um, since they're all parented? No, you'd have to to do it even individually, but the best way to do that would be to to make the cube a prefab and then uh, and then you'd have like the, the hostile cube and it would have <laughs> There. I'm not sure if that works. Click on each cube and see. Okay, it seems to have worked. <laughs> well now you're going to write in that in that script you're going to declare a public variable with the name health. Go. Let me boot it up. Throw it into the script folder. No, too late. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's arrows. Oh, I knew it. I knew that'd be arrows. <laughs> the errors. Oh no. <laughs> Open it again, quick. <laughs> quick before we all explode. <laughs> okay. Mm, there we go. Boop. Yes. Well, you don't need to have any functions here, I suppose. All we have to do is update. Nope. Before if actually, outside of the updates, in fact, you're going to have a function. I uh, know a declaration of a variable, as I said. So De do that. Declaration. Why can't I attach onto the word what declaration means? Declaration. It, that it is... means to declare a variable. Obviously, it means you you assign a, a variable with a name and a type, so and possibly this? a value. Is that this? This is no. That's an argument. That's a declaration of a function, actually. Oh. If you want to be technical. And I'm declaring a variable. That's right. So would that just be like game object or whatever dot? And then yes, oh. but the but the health won't be a game object. So would it be function dot? No, but that's a function. Hmm. What do you think the 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 health will be? I think that. Would be... Well, do I make do I put it in a new void or do I just keep it in an update? No, it's outside of this because it's a declaration. Oh, so up here. Yes, that's right. Aha. Oh, that's right. Then if we go into here, we can. Will it be private or public? What do you think? Probably private. What do you know about privates and publics? Nothing. <laughs> you didn't explain to me what they were. It. I thought I might have, but I guess not. Publics oh, yeah. means that they can be accessed from other scripts, while privates cannot. Oh, well then we should actually probably just put that in public. That's right. 
since we're going to be using this somewhere else upon uh, up the line. Okay, yes. so will this be a float? It could be. Right. Might be an int, might be a float. Well, we haven't done ints, so let's do that. Do you know what an int is? Integer? That's right. Oh, that was correct. Indeed. Integers, negative numbers. It's public int, that's fine. Okay. It's, I don't know, 10. Just like that? No. And equals, of course. Oh, public int. Oh, and this is going to be the health. Okay. That's right. Oh, also, you need to call it something. Probably HP. Public int. I'll just call it health. I, I prefer non long names, but okay. Well, it's only six letters, whatever. HP. I don't know, but. Right, you, you capitalize everything as well. I, I, I tell right, me there. Do. Public int HP equals three. I just like making. I just like looking at scripts that are appealing. Semicolon. <laughs> you didn't capitalize fire. Yes. No, yes. See, that's a public float that you just that you made there too. <gasps> I'm pretty sure you told me not to capitalize it though. <laughs> oh, that's probably what I like then. Okay. All right now. To me. I'm a free man. Now. How do you think you can attack? How do you think you could access the script from the other script in the bullet? You're going in the bullet now. Okay. Let's see. Well, I could do destroy if. Wait. <laughs> yes, how do you make an if? If. Actually, that probably wouldn't go right there, would it? <laughs> no. That would go right here, if... Yes, that's right. You've actually made a progress there. There. Well, almost. Right. Of course, that's nonsense, because... Because destroy is not really a good condition, is it? No. <laughs> it's the curve parentheses, or whatever you call them, that that have the commands of the if inside them. Um, but the same the same way a function is declared. Only that a function is arguments while it's a, an if has conditions. Okay, well here if we're going to here if input dot get key. Yes. But then again we're not inputting a key to do this. Well you see an an input key is a very nice condition. It's it's always true or false. If HP. You yeah. you want that thing still there, in fact. Oh, okay. Because that's that that's gonna go inside the if you see. I hope you haven't lost that thing. Nope. Control Z <laughs> is my buddy. I bet. <clears throat> Come on, put it in another line. Just destroy. Oh. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, because that'd be stupid if I didn't put it. If I put it somewhere else. Yes, parenthesis. If it gets destroyed, then make sure it has less than re three health. That's right. There. That's completely reversed. D you need a parenthesis inside the destroy thing that you've deleted. There we go. And then also the if, of course. If. What do you call that last thing? Yeah, that's it now. What am I doing? What do you call that that curved parenthesis again? I keep forgetting. Okay, here, let's just go over them. This no. This is parentheses. This is brackets, and yes, this brackets, is then. square brackets. Mm, okay, go on, brackets. Make brackets. Okay. So, if... I know... No semicolon. No, you still have the parentheses as well because the parentheses are going to contain the condition. Right, just a second. I didn't have those on this if, if command though. Yes, you did. No, no. Look, so, they're right there. What are you talking about? They're right there. There's. Oh, this one? Th there's brackets and there's parentheses in this if. Oh, this. 
Oh, yeah, actually, that acts exactly like a void. Sorry, that's me being stupid. Here, <laughs> we'll put that there. Put that there. Yes, close it off. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, when... Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right, now... I'm being completely stupid in this video. Now, now guess, how are you going to access this... Access the script that is attached to the cubes. If HP, which yeah, you wish it was that simple. How um, do you how how do you get the cube? Do you know how do you, how to get the cube? No. Really, it's right in front of you. Let's see, game object. Oh, if game object dot HP. Wait, darn it. It's awfully wrong. It's actually a collider dot game object because it's the you you get the oh, that's collider what I'm destroying. from f collider dot game object. That's right. Dot non capital collider. Oh yes, f collider dot game object is. Um, yes. How do you get a component of a thing? Oh boy. Dot get component like that. No. Yes, that's right. So then, collider. Nope. You're actually going to get the component, which is the script. If we're going to, no, not component. Oh <laughs> uh, well, then again, we're already getting the component. Yeah. Yes, it's it's the 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 script. Actually, you, you refer to it by the name of the script, which is cube pals. Okay. So that'd be cube health. <laughs> It'd probably be better if it was just health because then you could apply it to things that aren't cubes, but okay. Oh yeah, but I'm probably planning to uh, have different health for different enemies. <laughs> no, you could just have a different... You could just have... You can just change the, the health number. If, if you go into Unity now... Wait, no, actually, you get a... Just... Uh. Rename it then. Well, you actually, to... I think I have to close out of this first. Yes. Uh, um, save. Go into here. Well, it's probably going to give you no errors. Okay, that's great. Okay, go click on. Yeah, that's. You just rename it. You're right. Oh, wait. I remember now. Unity is done when it comes to renaming. Okay, you're going to put your mouse on the cube house name. Okay. Name. The name. The name oh, of no. the thing, and then you're going to scroll down. That's not right. No. Really? That used to be the way. Try double clicking. Nope. That. Really? It, it, for me, it's usually scroll down for some dumb reason. Hmm. Isn't this silly? <laughs> Highly. Here, what if we can just change the name in here? No. Well, whatever. Guess it's stuck in cube health. Yeah, I guess. Okay, anyways. Whatever. That was unimportant. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Yes, now you can get the HP. Wait, is... Less... Is less than... Zero. And destroy... Like that? Far off. <laughs> no, actually that part's fine, but you gotta add more. Okay. What else do I have to add? Well, I don't know. The script is smaller than zero. Maybe oh, you want to add the name of the variable. It's less than HP. No. <laughs> Jeez, no. <laughs> Just the zeros, right? Okay, so keep it like that. Yes. Now add after Q pals. You're going to add parentheses because get component is a function. And then you're going to add a dot .hp because you're going to get the hp variable from it. There we go. Now I finally showed up. Uh, so if not Q quite. Health... The, the, the parenthesis actually closed before that. Oh. That. That's it. Yes, now that should work, except for not because, because you're not actually lowering the hp. <laughs> now how do you lower the hp? Mm. Um, <laughs> oh gosh.
If only there was some kind of variable that you've lowered previously, like a, a fire variable. Oh! Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, Too bad you, you don't currently have that open right now. Let's see here. Oh wait, you do. Okay. Um, HP. No, wait. Why can I just put fire equals twenty there, but I can't put like HP? Wait. <laughs> oh. I'm brain farting. Do I need hmm. board update? Possibly. No. It's I hash provider. I don't like it. I don't like it, what it's called. Uh, I don't like his boyfriend. Hmm. There's like, there, there's like four, four characters missing from this solution. You probably thought it'd be several lines. Yeah. Uh, okay, minus minus, that's how you lower it. Oh, so all I have to do is that. That's right. Probably best to use no space. And then you can, and now after that you can test if it's smaller than zero. So, like that. Yes, now test it. No errors, so. Yes, what a solution. Now they won't die as fast. Two. Hey, go. You'd have to keep shooting them faster or else they'll get away from you. No, they've, they've gone into the third dimension. <laughs> Just saying, that didn't work. Like, Oh, I don't think you hit them enough. No, I didn't. I think you have to hit them four times. Hmm. You'd think there'd be an arrow if it doesn't work. Let's see if... Let's, let's, here. Well, let's just try my method. Which, Which is... is Still works. No, that makes no difference. Don't okay, now you're going to use the first debug code. Wait, what? Keep, keep the minus there. Oh, yeah. Now copy the whole thing, collider to HP. Yes. Okay, copied. The line above it. Oh, actually. I'm surprised that no never mind. Okay, above that, paste that in the line above it. So No. Just one line above it. Uh, here? Yes, new line though. Okay now uh unity engine dot debug log. So before it all? Yes. The engine dot space maybe. Debug. Dot log. Log. Caps, yeah. Parenthesis. And then at the end, dot to string. Right. Like right here? Uh -huh. No. Oh, it still comes up. Yes, well, you're going to put it before the end of the parenthesis. Uh, to string. That's it. And finish that? Yes. There you go. Now let's see what it says. I'm, I'll be interested to see. All compilers. Um, Unity engine debug log object has some invalid arguments. Weird. But that the pro I mean, that won't make a difference. Yeah, what's this? Also, argument number one cannot convert method group expression to type object. So weird. Oh, I get it. <laughs> uh, so, wait, actually, I'm surprised that this did this. Let me, well, what you're needing there is an SQ pulse after the, after the get component parenthesis. So, like right here? Yes. As. A-S. Oh, as. Q pulse. Space, yes. Yes, let's test it now. Oh, HP wait, never mind. HP is an invalid. Yes, actually, you need another parenthesis. <laughs> so, like. Right yes, there. No, actually, you just need to finish a parenthesis there. 
Well, we'll yes. Do a, do a, a, a closing parenthesis there. Not an opening one, just a closing one. Oh, here? Yes, that's it. And a dot afterwards and then a parenthesis at the start of Collider. Yes, okay, now it should probably work. No. Nope. God damn it. <laughs> Argument one cannot convert method group expression to type object. Okay, this is the same thing that we got last time. Weirdly. Okay, should we just not try to debug it? Mm, I don't know, probably not. Wait, no, that's fine. <sighs> weird, very weird. Well, tr try removing the two string. Like that? Yes. Okay. Save. Minimize. Never mind, still bugged. Oh no, it isn't, okay. Wait, no, it's gone. Yeah, weird. That silly two string. Wow, it's actually returning the health, which is really, imagine that. And it's actually counting down the health. But it's so not it destroying the object. Maybe you're just not hitting it four times in a row because it goes into the into the foreground or background. Ugh, stupid physics. <clears throat> uh, here, we'll, we'll try to hit, we'll knock off this one into like over here and then we'll just bully it. I don't know why you're bothering with that. You'd be more likely to kill one if you stuck with the bunch. Okay, fine. Uh, Start over. Hmm. Hi, the odd. Yeah, they hit zero, but then they don't disappear. They're minus one. That they must have been... Wait, one. actually, no, that shouldn't have worked at all. I guess that should have been destroyed at minus one. But you can tell that there was only one that you actually destroyed. But that one might have been off screen. Don't go into the fourth dimension. Don't go into the fourth dimension. <laughs> Oh boy, maybe maybe you should make the 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 cubes. Stay in place. Oh wait, actually the the easiest way to do that would be to reduce the the mass of the capsules. Let's see. The mass of the capsules. That's inside the Unity editor. Oh, okay. Back in project. Let's see. Capsules, capsules, assets, resources, capsule. Mass, 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 mass. Materials, center radius, height. Richard and, body. Uh, Where's your body? Yes. 0 0.2. There. Now it, now it should be easier. I'm surprised he got minus 1, actually. Uh, hey, it worked! See? It did work. Okay. Yeah, I think we should just leave it at this, too. Yes, we did it, I guess. We destroyed the box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> subscribe! Yay, subscribe to me, too! Goodbye. Goodbye.